You know, this was a difficult case, both for the state and the defense side. We appreciate the judge taking the time to explain his sentence, rather than just giving us a sentence to tell us his thought process <coughs> and the reasons why this complicated sentence was imposed. It gave the state what it needed. It gave punishment and confinement for a period of time. But it addressed the community's concerns about danger in the future. Austin, who both the state and defense psychologists agree, has a mental condition, will get the treatment finally that he needs to protect the community from any danger in the future. I think the treatment will help him. Both the state and defense doctors agree that with the correct treatment, Austin will thrive and do well. And when both sides' doctors agree on that kind of prediction, the judge, the judge was pleased, I could tell, to have an agreement. It gave him guidance on what kind of future Austin could get. Still, he had to be punished, but the future didn't have to be 20 years in prison. And both psychiatrists sort of painted a picture that this has been, he's been dealing with this for a long time, since about three years old. Had he gotten treatment and been diagnosed a lot sooner, the events of last year, last May, those would have never happened? Or would you get the word? If he had gotten the correct treatment, we believe nothing would have happened. There would not have been any kind of crime committed. The doctors agree that the outlook is very good. And the most telling thing is that Austin didn't hurt anyone. He went to the teacher and said, help me. That's the best prognosis. Basically, the judge's sentence is, uh, it's, it's what would be called a consecutive sentence or a split sentence, meaning that you have to do all of one sentence before you do all of the other sentence. So uh, Austin was given uh, a, a sentence under the Youthful Offender Act uh, for the offense carried up to five years. So he can, he receives basically an indeterminate sentence of up to five years in jail. Upon completing that sentence, he has another 10-year sentence that is suspended and he'd be placed on probation for five years. So once he is done with the youthful offender sentence, he then basically has 10 years hanging over his head with probation uh, conditions. And if he does not comply with probation, then he will be subject to up to 10 years in prison on that charge, in addition to whatever time he does on the youthful offender sentence.